Hello there, you beautiful people. It's me, Wise Guy, for another review for the RX Zero Unicorn Gundam Zero Three Phoenix. This is a bootleg kit from the Ban. This is not the Bandai version. So I saw the the Ban Six Six Four Two S kit in AliExpress really cheap and I wanted to build it to see how it is and tell you guys so let's check it out in detail here it is this is the finished version and so far looks really nice really shiny uh, if you look closely you see a lot of faults a lot of scratches a lot of undergate problems and when I was building this kit I had a lot of fitting problems so I had to glue a lot of parts that's the bad side of it let's check out some articulation the feet move up and down I tried to move it uh, left and right but it came off these, these are the fitting problems that I'm telling you there are a lot of them you will going to need a lot of glue for this kit the front panel moves up and down on the feet real nice shiny left and right some basic articulation on the feet nothing special the back thruster opens and reveals uh, some uh, plastic fins some plastic blue fins there you have to constantly wipe out this kit because it's a real fingerprint magnet I'm wearing gloves and I'm still smudging everywhere so you have to wipe out constantly with some alcohol maybe if you have it and here's the articulation on the knee as you can see the articulation on the knee is non-existence I don't know why this is but it is and it's real sad my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined I think the plastic on the back of the legs prevents it from bending these are design flaws uh, I think the wrist moves 360 degrees the hands go up and down and the arm moves 360 degrees nothing special the shoulders doesn't move at all in general this kit doesn't move a lot the head moves only left and right no up and down movement real basic articulation there on the head it can say no but it can't say yes the skirts move up and down they are connected uh, with a ball pe uh, point the back skirts also move freely this is the only nice articulation you find it looks real shiny I I'll give it that it looks nice so far and these are the shields slash backpack that uh, tail there can move freely it's connected through a wire so you can pose it however you like some nice articulation there no complaints you can pose it however you like and the wire is strong so let's check out the destroy mode and here you have it the destroy mode it took me 20 minutes transform it to destroy mode it was really hard because the plastic quality is is bad and the fitting issues are bad this is the shield in destroy mode it looks real nice I had to glue these top parts to the shield because they were falling constantly these fins these blue fins move up and down they look real nice and shiny the fins on the upper part move up and down too looks real nice I have to say but the plastic quality real bad this is the backpack and these sides thrusters open up the back thrusters opens up 
they look nice, really plain, but nice. I like the blue plastic on the kit. The blue plastic looks nice uh, in the destroy mode. You can see it through there, through the shoulders. It's, uh, it's a nice transparent blue plastic. That's the only thing I like on this kit. And here's a short look at the weapons, which I painted, fully painted and customized. This is the bazooka. I painted the bazooka also and I gave it some red details. I applied some decals, some water slides, which looks nice. And here's how you attach the tail to the backpack, to the shield or backpack, call it what you want. I don't know what to call them. They have a name, I think, but uh, I forgot the name. Look how shiny it looks, but uh, although the shininess, you see up close that the plastic has a lot of scratches, a lot of small scratches, which is disappointing. The tail moves really nicely, I really like how it moves with the wire. And you have this small, small pilot over here. I don't know who, who this pilot is, but it's a bad. Not a good quality. And you have some extra parts to put on the back on the shield, like that, over there. And these are all the extra parts. Some blue parts, some gold parts, some extra fins if you like. Not a lot, not a lot of extra parts, but uh, some small different customization options. And here's the Phoenix Unicorn uh, fin which is connected to a real small and fragile ball point. All right, let's check out the weapons. First off, you have the bazooka, which I really like the design of a bazooka. That's why I decided to paint it silver metallic and matte gray and some metallic red. The barrel goes inside and out. I also applied some water slides, which look nice. Uh, you can see, you can ha you have a small scope there. That you can take out. You can see the missiles on the back there, the missile pack or magazine, call it what you want. You have a small handle if you want to 200 uh, this weapon. Looks real nice with the water slides and the silver painting painting and this is the assault rifle which i also painted matte gray silver metallic and i gave it some metallic green on the handle if you can see looks real nice i like the design of it and uh, you can take out the magazine too if you want that handle there you can 200 also looks real nice i really like how it came up and my painting job did it justice i think it's a nice design it's the only thing that i like on this kit and here's are some extra parts that you will find. Uh, these are the magazine uh, plastic parts and this is um, the additional helmet that you can wear and look at that poor quality saber light thingies. These are bad plastic. I didn't use it. I throw it away. And these are some bad stickers that I didn't apply also because they are really really bad in quality. 
And here it is, the majestic Destroy Mode Unicorn Gundam Phoenix. Looks real nice, real majestic up far. So real shiny with the weapon. It took me a lot of time to pose it because it has a lot of uh, weight problems. You can use the backpack only on a stand and the kit, by the way, doesn't come with a stand. I use the stand from the MGEX uh, Strike Freedom Gundam. So there you have it in full display with in the destroy mode. I found it cheap on AliExpress, that why, that's why I bought it, but don't do the same mistake. This is a really, really bad kit, uh, real bad quality plastic, uh, scratches everywhere, real undergate under problem, you'll see a lot of small marks on the kit, on the plastic, which is disappointing. Uh, yes, it looks good from afar, but up close it doesn't worth it. Don't waste your money. If you want, buy the Bandai version. The Bandai version is a thousand times better than this bootleg uh, version from Daban. Daban sometimes makes nice uh, uh, kits like the PG Unleashed, which I really liked. But this time, this is a thumbs down kid. Don't waste your time. So, thank you for watching. Uh, next week, we have a Bandai kid. So, stay tuned. Like the video if you liked it. And see you next time. Bye.